Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my walkthrough for the third scenario from the free DLC from Resident Evil 2, Forgotten Soldier. Again, I take no damage in this video, but that's not necessary if you're going for the trophy. In fact, to unlock No Way Out mode, you can do the first three scenarios on training mode. It's just No Way Out that needs to be done on its regular difficulty. So we're jumping straight into it with this one, into the first corridor here. There are four zombies, one with a backpack and one armoured one at the back. Take all the items out of the backpack. The gunpowder is especially helpful. Uh, you're not going to be able to clip this one in the legs, so you're going to have to do a, a dodge manoeuvre because it's got armour on its legs. That's a new enemy type for this scenario. Uh, run around these fire ones, they shouldn't pose a problem at all. And then straight into this room for your first machine, vending machine. Take the flash grenade, you're going to need that most definitely. Right, there's a liquor in this room. I get a bit cheeky and go in and knife it to preserve ammo. As long as you stay behind it, it's not going to be able to get you. It doesn't even know where you are, in fact, I don't think. So, yeah, easily done. Clip this one down and take the high-grade gunpowder. I don't need the normal gunpowder, as I'm just using the LE5 and the Magnum, so I can't make ammo for that for those with that, so I don't take it. Uh, clip these in the legs and, again, take the gunpowder out of this one, just the high-grade, and then up this ladder. There is another vending machine at the top here with some guns in. I take the Magnum, and I recommend that you do so as well, because it's going to really help at the end. There is a shotgun as well, but the Magnum has more ammo, um, and it's just better all around. One shot kills. So you can avoid all these, and then you've got two more armoured ones with exposed legs. You're going to be dropping those as quickly as you can before that white one in the, in the lab coat moves forward, so you can move around to the back without getting grabbed. There's another... Backpack guy here, shoot him while you can because there's going to be a plant zombie dropping down from the ceiling and you want to get the items out of the backpack and move on before it gets up. So again, just high grade and make your first grenade. So we're going to be able to make three grenades in this scenario which are just so helpful, it's unbelievable. Uh, just shoot this one in the legs here and you should be able to get past these two. So this is why we took the flash grenade for this room here. Um, there is a lot of guys in here, a lot of zombies in here, and one plant one, which will not be phased by the zombie, uh, the flash grenade. So you'll need to shoot his legs, uh, or anywhere, just to make sure you hit one of the orange blobs. Run straight to the lift and get inside. Now there's a lot of enemies blocking your route here, but there is a very simple way of getting through it. You want to be shooting the three um, with exposed heads that are stood on the bridge. You'll see them there. Um, just get some magnum ammo out of here. Yep, there. I try and get a bit ch uh, cheeky here and try and get two with one, but it doesn't work. You're going to need to make sure you, the aiming reticle shrinks down so you get a, an accurate shot, otherwise you could end up wasting some ammo here and you don't want to be doing that. So yeah, take these three exposed ones out. And then this final one here. He can't be headshot because he's got um, armor on his head. So drop him down. Try and draw him towards you a bit so it gives you a bit more leeway when coming down here. You want to be getting this backpack guy. Now I'll make a bit of a mess here because I've run out of ammo for the LE5. And then this backpack guy has a two lots of high grade white and yellow. Um, I could have made some more ammo for the LE5 here as I already have a grenade. I realise it at that point and think, why didn't I do that? So you just need the one grenade here and you can chuck it right at the back and it will kill everybody. They're so powerful. This Even this guy in front of me here gets hit with it. So... Yeah, and then into this next room. I could have done with some LE5 ammo here, but I get away with it uh, instead of wasting. I need to say you need to save at least one Magnum bullet for right at the end. It's going to make the last enemy, which is an adult G, um, just a piece of cake. You can run straight past him as long as you have one Magnum ammo. It's much better than using a grenade because the grenades can stun you, and uh, and then he can grab you. So yeah get round here, I forget to kill him before trying to take the backpack, but make another grenade and then some LE5 ammo and then Mr. X Tyrant is going to appear behind us when we get towards the blast doors here um, you can sort of run around him, run him in, run him in circles like a Benny Hill sketch, sketch. Uh, he will attack there, you can see him sort of swing when he does you can sort of wait for him to attack. He does a really long attack there, which is really slow, and you'll be able to um, just jump out of the way. 
and it'll give you more than enough time to uh, get through the door. He doesn't follow you after that. Drop the um, the normal zombies here. They're a bit quicker, so you want to slow them down. and You want to try to group everybody together here. And we're going to get them all with one grenade. So there's the one at the back. You need to get quite close to him, the one near the stairs, for him to uh, activate and get up. So yeah, I'm just trying to get all their attention here. Get them all together. And then we're going to hit them with one grenade. There's the guy crawling through the blast door that I crippled before. And then now, just chuck the grenade. Everyone's down. Giving us a clear path to the end, almost, where there is one adult G. This is why we've got the the last magnum ammo. Shoot him in the soft bit, and it will stun him, allowing you to run back onto the cable car. Done. Okay, that's it for this one. I hope this helps. Like I said, you can do this on training difficulty and no damage is not necessary at all. You just need to get to the end. I've done one of these videos for each scenario from the DLC, so check out my channel for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.